Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Lewis. I'm here to share with you about my stock account. Today, let's talk about the、uh, U.S. capital markets and the、uh, federal monetary policy decisions. Is it betting on interest rate cuts and ignoring Mr. Powell? The market has been playing against the Fed for a long time. Recent expectations of a Fed cut in interest rates next year have been high, and senior Fed officials have repeatedly poured cold water on it. Overnight, a hawkish speech from Fed Chairman Jerome Powell continued the argument, trying to once again weigh on recut expectations. However, after the market seemed to not buy. Powell's comments: the two-year Treasury yield plunged more than 10 basis points to a five-month low, and the 10-year Treasury yield plunged to 4.21 percent, the lowest in nearly three months. In fact, Wall Street's view of interest rate changed sharply after the bond market sold off on October 19th. Over the past five weeks, Wall Street has been going against the Fed, ignoring warnings from Fed executives, including Mr. Powell, leading to a sharp drop in yields. Global Quincy Crosby, head of wealth manage, manager at LPL Financial, even said in a report, after Powell's brief and decision decisive warning that the 2022 Jackson Hole meeting, the market took the Fed's changing comments less seriously. So, who would you believe, Mr. Powell or the bond market? For Wall Street, the recent autumn was a long season. In order to reduce inflation, the Fed will not. On, will not cut interest rates very soon, and plans to keep interest rates at nearly two-year highs for a long time. During this period, the bond market has experienced a sharp sell-off tide that directly pushes up the, the cost of borrowing for the U.S. government, while also affecting consumer debt, such as credit cards and mortgages, that follows bond prices. At the same time, the bond market was contributing to the Fed by selling to raise borrowing costs. Which was reducing overall economic activity by cooling spending and investment, which could reduce inflation. Still, Wall Street's views on interest rates changed dramatically after the bond market selling boom on October 19th. Versus now, the yield on the 10-year note fell to 4.21 percent on Friday, a sharp drop from its high of 4.99 percent on October 19th. Now, investors now think the Fed is not likely to raise rates again. Meanwhile, the bond market is now forecasting a rate cut as early as March next year, and just over a month ago, the first rate cut was early 2025. Investors, including Bill Ackman, are betting that the era of high interest rate is coming to an end. At the moment, the bond market seems to be playing well with Powell, as the dream back to early 2021, as if whatever Powell said, the market thought he had wrong. When he cut inflation temporary in 2021, bond traders instead pushed the yields to their pre-epidemic highs. Now, investors are again questioning Mr. Powell's comments, with inflation appearing to be cooling and not triggering a recession. The need to keep such interest rates so high is becoming increasingly doubtful. Bond trader said that Mr. Powell has no choice but to claim that he would raise the rates again. Otherwise, it could trigger another consumer frenzy, pushing interest rates down further and thus triggering inflation again. So, even though they heard Powell, they didn't really buy it. But the problem is that the bond markets are really buying crazy anyway. They are gradually wiping out all the efforts they made for the Fed in September and August and October. Which in turn reduces borrowing costs. It's the opposite of the of what the Feds had expected, and inflation remains to open. So, investors expect the Fed to cut interest rates sooner than expected. But the more Wall Street believes that, the more likely it is to ease the economy, and the harder it is to reach the two percent inflation target. When redu when deciding whether to cut interest rates, the Fed will consider a lot of data. Including the sudden breathing room that the market gives to home buyers, it'll be ironic if Wall Street's expectations force the Fed to keep interest rates higher for longer. This is all I have for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next episode.